Hey everybody, John Burroughs with AlarmSystemStore.com and I'm here to do a technical support video on how to enroll the Resolution Products RE304, the DSC version of their wireless driveway alert system. And uh, basically I'm going to take you over to the tech table, I'm going to show you how to learn it into a DSC Alexor and uh, to show you how it's done and I'll be back after that to explain a little bit more about this product so let's head on over. All right, here we are at the programming table and we're getting ready to enroll this Resolution Products RE304 wireless driveway alert uh, unit into this DSC Alexor wireless system. Um, you can use this on the DSC Alexor, DSC Impasa, or the DSC Power Series 1616, 1832, or 1864. It's just basically a wireless sensor um, it that will tell you and alert you when someone's coming up your driveway. Um, so the what you see here, uh, these pieces back here are basically the stand that it sits on. Um, they have nothing to do really with what we're going to do here. I just wanted to show them to you. So we're going to go ahead and put those off to the side. And uh, this is your main unit. Uh, this is the head of the uh, driveway detector. As you can see, it's got a nice little tiny circuit board in there, space for the batteries. Um, what you're going to do first uh, when you're programming this in is we're going to enroll it. So to do that we'll go to, we'll hit our uh, star key to wake the pad up and hit star 8. Oh, let's go back. Star 8. Enter your installer's code 5555. Five, five, five. And then it asks for a section. We need to go to wireless enrollment mode section 898. And as you see there it says wireless enrollment mode. Now what we're going to do to do this on the RE304, uh, when you power it up by inserting the battery that is loose right here, as you see, it will start sending out a special signal. So let's go ahead and put the battery in. And you can hear it sending out its signal. Um, at, when we when we power it up, it starts sending a signal to the panel to, to have itself learned in. As you can see here, it read out a serial number, and that is correct. It asks us to confirm the serial number, so we'll hit star. And uh, I defaulted this panel, so the only thing we've got on here right now is this. And zone one is fine to put that on, so we'll hit star to continue with that. Now your zone type, you want to set this up as a 24-hour non-burglary uh, zone type, and that on a DSC system that is a 26. And then it goes back to wireless enrollment mode. So that's learned in the system. Now we need to make sure that that zone is turned on. So hit pound, go to section 202 in programming, and you see our toggle options here for the uh, zones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're all turned on. We only really have zone one right now, so you can turn the others off by hitting the corresponding numbers until only zone one is showing. After that's done, hit uh, pound. Now what's really neat about a DSC system is uh, if you've noticed your DSC system before, it has a chime feature. And the usual chime sound is a six digit beep for your chime. You can change that by going to section 800 in programming. So we'll go to 800 and intersection. Intersection, when you go into section 800, this means what zone do you want to work with? So we're working with zone one, we type in zero one. And then uh, toggle option one is the only one on right now and that is the standard six beep chime. So we want to turn that off and we're going to turn on three. Uh, toggle option three, I believe, is a bing bong or a ding dong, kind of like a doorbell sounding deal. And uh, you can differentiate between your regular door chimes and this deal. Um, you know, like somebody comes up the driveway, you don't want it to sound like a door chime, you want it to sound like something else. So that's why we changed that in section 800. And then after that, you're all done. I mean, it is just that easy. It's just like enrolling uh, just any other DSC wireless device. Really great product from Resolution Products. Check it out on the website. Thanks, guys. All right, I'm back. Now, um, that was pretty easy. Uh, the mount, the enrolling of this into the system is really simple, just like enrolling any other wireless device uh, into an Alexa or Impasa or Power Series. 
Now the mounting of this uh, unit, you'll basically take it out by your driveway and mount it on a sturdy post or uh, mount it with the spike that's included. I've got it laying over here. <laughs> uh, and mount it with the spike that's included or on a sturdy post. And um, you want to mount it at door level, like car door handle level height. Uh, and also they say not to mount it more than two thirds of the wireless range of your system. So it's very important. It does have sensitivity settings on there and they also tell you in the instruction manual that um, it doesn't matter which way, uh, you know, how you turn the uh, head of the detector, but they do say that sometimes rotating it 90 degrees will help out a little bit. Really handy product, uh, uh, you know, especially for all of you who don't want to have to run wire with, like, with your traditional wired driveway alarm sensors. Um, this is, makes it really handy, really easy to be notified when somebody's coming to your house. So uh, check it out, www.alarmsystemstore.com. If you have any questions on this, as far as technical stuff goes, give us a call, 888-811-0727. My name is John Burroughs. It's been a pleasure to be here for you today, and uh, join us for more tech videos in the future. Thanks, guys.